My People Go by Tilda Balsley. Illustrated by <laughs> Eileen Richard. Read for you by Maya Klein, Eliana Klein, and Noah Klein. And Maura Cat. We hope you enjoy the story. A burning bush, and it began. As God told Moses, here's my plan. But Moses was a simple man. He said, I just don't think I can. Poor Moses! God wouldn't hear the answer, no. He said with Aaron, you will go to lead my people from Pharaoh to tell him that your God said so. So Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh shouted, No, no, no. A big mistake. He did not know that God would deal a mighty blow. A plague, the a plague, plague a plague. plague. Egyptians to the Pharaoh said, Their God has turned our water red. No more fish. They all are dead. Where is some water to drink? I cannot stand this bloody sink. Pee. Then Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. <laughs> that was funny. A plague, a plague, a plague, a plague. Frogs were Pharaoh's next nightmare. He cried. They're hopping everywhere. Tell God to send the frogs away. Then you can't go without delay. They're in my... Uh, Oven in my bed. I think a frog has jumped on my head. So Moses prayed and the frogs were dead. Then Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. A plague, the a plague, plague, a plague. Egyptians cried. Oh, no. Now gnats covering cows and dogs and cats. Covering us from head to toe. Please, Pharaoh, let these people go. Then Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. A plague, a, a plague, plague, a plague. God spread the ground with nasty flies. But Pharaoh answered only lies. I'll let your people leave this place. Just get these flies out of my place. When Moses said, It's done. We'll go. Pharaoh shouted, No, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. Soon animals began to die. Egyptians pleaded, Hear our cry. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, why, why, why? But Pharaoh still would not comply. Then Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. Egyptians moaned and cried in dread to see their skin turn purpley red. The nasty boils began to spread, but Pharaoh was an old hard head. When Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh, Our God says, let my people go. Pharaoh shouted, No, no, no. A plague, a, a plague, plague, a plague. plague. God continued the campaign with hail and thunder, mighty rain. There had never been a worse event. It looked like Pharaoh might relent. When Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh, Our God says, let my people go. Pharaoh shouted, No, no, no. A plague, a, a plague, plague, a plague. A plague. Now God sent down a new command with Moses and his outstretched hand. Sent angry locusts through the land. Then said Pharaoh, I can't stand. Leave Egypt now as you planned. 
But when the people packed to go, Pharaoh shouted, No, no, no! A plague, plague, a plague, a plague! A plague, a plague. The, then Egypt had three days of night when Israelis enjoyed God's light. So Pharaoh tried to fight, said, Wives and children all can go. You cannot take your livestock, though. He really didn't mean it, so he soon was shouting, No, no, no! A plague, a plague, a plague! God, though Moses said, beware, this plague is bad, beyond compare. Death to every firstborn son, from loyal born to poorest one. But sons of Israel, I will spare, so listen now, you must prepare. And as God struck his final blow, Pharaoh shouted, Go, go, go! And Moses and all of the Israelites were free. free.